Hello friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean, and it is that time again where I rank my last 10 palettes. These are the 10 most recent palettes that I used and tested out, and I'm here to rank them for you. I initially got this video idea from Annette's Makeup Corner. Her channel will be down below. Please go check her out. I have done videos and looks with all of these palettes. I'll try to remember to tell you where to find each look, including this one. I did film this look, of course. It's already on my channel. It's from my video with the new Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics collection. Lab. You can go check that out if you are curious. And as far as my jewelry details before we get into the ranking, these plugs are Love Kills Boutique, and I don't know where this choker's from because it is quite old. And yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna hop into the ranking and chat about these 10 palettes. This one was so hard. You know what's really difficult about trying your best to only use things that you think you'll use for a long time and really enjoy? is you tend to not get a lot of misses that way. And that's how this video is. It was really hard to rank them because I didn't dislike anything. Honestly, the only reason number 10 is in the number 10 spot is just because it's a color story I'm not gonna reach for as often, but this was really tough. There are some killer palettes in this lineup this time and I am so excited about it. Also, as always, before I get into it, um, if you think I'm missing something, I promise I'm not. I keep very thorough notes all the time. If you think I'm forgetting a palette, it was either in the last ranking, I haven't used it yet and it'll be in upcoming rankings, or I've never used it at all and it just doesn't belong here because I don't own it. Without further ado, let's kick it off with number 10. Number 10, I'm giving to the Ace Beauté Cala palette. This is part of their new floral collection that they launched about a month ago. It looks like this. We have a bunch of neutrals in here and that's pretty much the only reason why I ranked this number 10. Formula-wise, this is really nice. The mattes blend out really good. If anything, I even like the range that we have because it goes from really dark to really light. And we also have such a good mixture of tones for the shimmer, so you can do a lot of different color-leaning looks. I just don't reach for neutrals very often, so that's the only reason I ranked this number 10. Everything else I'm going to reach for way more often. And... Yeah, I did a whole video with the floral collection on my channel where I paired all four palettes together. But I also did individual Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts videos with all four of these. So this one is already up with that. Keeping with the same theme, uh, number nine is the Fleur palette from the Ace Beauté Floral Collection again. It looks like this. It is gorgeous. I love purple eyeshadow. I think it is so pretty. The only reason I decided to rank this one number nine is just because it's so monochromatic and... As much as I think this is a well done monochromatic palette, I'm just personally more inspired to reach for things that have at least a little bit more to the color story than what this one offers. So that's the only reason I rank this one number nine. Again, it performs beautifully. Again, you can see me pair this with the other ones in that YouTube video or check out that individual Instagram, TikTok, YouTube short video. I really did have a great time with this. I think the shimmers are so lovely. It's just not the first one I'm gonna reach for compared to the other things. Ranked number eight, I'm giving to the Flora palette from Ace Beauté. I love this one. I think this one is gorgeous. It's like a sunflower dream. I love these different yellowy tones. And what I love about this one compared to the first two is that even though this is yellow based, it's not fully monochromatic. We have variations and tones and different colors in here. And I did like that a lot more, which is why I wanted to rank it more than the purple one. But again, the other color stories just kind of spoke to my soul a little bit more, which I was surprised about because I'm obsessed with yellow eyeshadow. I think it's so pretty but like I said in the beginning there were some really killer palettes this time and it was really really hard to rank them especially starting like between now at number eight all the way through number five even I could have intertwined any of them because I just like them all so much but I did decide that the other ones going forward I probably would reach for over this one just because probably just because the color story appeals to me more honestly. But again, I love this one. If you're into yellows and like the sunflower vibe, I think you'd really like it. Moving on to number seven, it is my Wicked Widow Beauty Tea Time Palette. I love this packaging. I think that artwork is so cute. It's like a cute little Alice in Wonderland vibe. I think this is so pretty. I used this in a Get Ready With Me recently on my channel and I do have an Instagram, TikTok, YouTube short coming with this. I just don't know if it's gonna be up before or after this video. So if it's not already posted, it'll be coming very soon. But I think this is so pretty. I love the Alice in Wonderland ColourPop one that I talked about in the last ranking, but I feel like this is an even better representation of Alice in Wonderland. I think it's so fun kind of chaotic, but in a really good way. I think it's really, really pretty. I actually thought I was gonna rank this one number six, but I ended up knocking it down a peg just because 
I personally don't love that there isn't a deeper matte. Like I feel like a slightly darker blue would have been really nice in this palette. And I know that's very nitpicky, but when I love everything so much, I kind of have to be in order to rank them. And that was pretty much the only thing I had on this one in order to decide an order. So that's why I ranked this one here. But again, I really, really enjoyed this one. I think it's really pretty. The shimmers are gorgeous. The mattes are so fun to work with. I've been really impressed with this brand. This is the second palette I've tried from Wicked Widow Beauty. And I'm really into their formulations and their color stories. Moving on now to number five, I am giving it to the Begonia palette from the Ace Bute Floral Collection. Again, I really thought I was gonna rank this one higher because I loved this one. It's definitely my favorite one out of that floral collection. It's just so pretty. I love the moody, grungy garden vibes, kind of the berry tones with the greens. Again, I love that this one isn't just like typical monochromatic. I think it's so beautiful. The shimmers are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous in here. Again, you can see me play with this either on that YouTube video I mentioned earlier or its individual Instagram, TikTok, YouTube short. Um, but I had so much fun with this. I think it's so, so pretty. And I really, really thought this was going to be in the top five, but alas, the top five really stole the show. Honestly, once I had all 10 palettes, it was pretty clear to me which ones were going to be in the top five. So yeah, this one ended up being number six, but I love it wholeheartedly. Let's talk about my current top five of the last 10 palettes. This one's always awkward to show, but number five I'm giving to my Smoky Glam palette from Bella Beauty Bar. I recently posted a two looks video with this on my channel. It is so pretty, very large, a lot larger than I typically want to go for with a palette. It is 36 shades. I don't tend to reach for very large palettes, but I feel like Bella Beauty Bar has been doing a really good job with their large palettes. I had a lot of great things to say about the Pastel Garden last ranking, and this one is also making me really happy. I do plan on doing another video on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts at some point, but at the moment you're seeing this, I'm on vacation. I got all my pre-filming done, and I just hadn't had time to film another look with this one just yet, but I will be playing with this again, hopefully soon. Um, but it's really pretty. I know earlier I said I'm not a big neutrals person, and I'm not, but if I'm gonna be, this is my vibe. I love that it's very smoky, cool tone neutrals. I love cool tone neutrals if I'm gonna play with them. The plummy shades, the purples, the pinks, so many beautiful shimmers in here. I feel gorgeous when I wear this palette. I did two totally different vibes in my two looks video and I had so much fun. I think this is a really, really great palette. The only reason I didn't rank it higher is just because it is more of a neutral focused palette. And even though this is my kind of a neutral palette, I would prefer to just use the top four a little bit more than this one, especially because they're a little more compact and more my size preference. Um, but this one was really, really good. I was very impressed with it. Moving on to number four, it's what I'm wearing today. It is the Resurgence palette between Heather Austin and Unearthly Cosmetics. I'm so happy for them. This is such a cool collab. I love the packaging and I think Heather killed it. Just look at this color story. It is so, so stunning. It is so fun. I love the bright electric pops of color with the moody sultriness. The shimmers in here are so pretty. I'm just obsessed with the way my eyes look today and I had so much fun playing with this. I piled so many of the colors on my eyeballs and I'm so excited about it. Again, you can see me play with this on YouTube and I do plan on doing another look on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts when I return from my vacation. And I am so into this. I think it is so, so lovely. And as soon as I saw it in person, I was like, I have to rank that one highly. There's just no other option. It is just so pretty, but the top three, once I tried the top three, like I knew they were gonna be the top three, you know what I mean? So this one didn't quite make it to the top three, but it did for sure deserve the number four spot. I'm very, very happy with this one. Moving on to number three, it's gonna be the Jewels and Gem palette from Odin's Eye. I love this new collection Odin's Eye came out with. They recently launched two new palettes. I did a two looks video with the palettes together. So I did one look with one palette, one look with the other. And again, I do plan on doing individual looks on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube shorts with the palettes as well, but it won't be until I've returned. <laughs> but number three is this beauty right here, the Jewels and Gem. I love this. It's like a smoky, cool toned, pinky purple, blue kind of vibe. It is so 
ethereal but sultry at the same time. I think this is so gorgeous. Um, I don't know at this moment because I haven't packed yet, obviously, because I'm still here filming. Um, and I will have a vlog up soon if it's not already up of me packing and preparing for my vacation. But I'm pretty sure that I'm bringing this one and the other palette from the collection on vacation with me because I'm just really, really into them. I think the shimmers are gorgeous. I think the colors are so pretty and I'm very inspired by them. I didn't rank that one higher though, just because this next one, I just, I'm itching to use even more. It's just so, so pretty. I thought about bringing this one with me, but I don't feel like this formula travels well and I don't want to risk it breaking on me. Um, but for home use, at least, my number two is the Lethal Cosmetics Wildflower Palette. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I already have a whole video with this collection on my channel, as well as a, another look on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube Shorts. Look how beautiful it is. But yeah, this shade kind of came a little crumbly, so I didn't want to risk traveling with it and it break more. Um, but for when I'm home, this is beautiful. I love these really fun pops of color. The shimmers in here are outstanding. I feel like a fairy when I use this palette. It is just so, so stinking cute. I. I'm just so inspired by this one. I think it's so fun and springy and exciting. And this one just made me really, really happy. So I wanted to rank this one number two. But the number one palette, I see this one being ranked at least in the top 10, if not even the top five by the time this year is up for the whole year. I'm obsessed with this color story. It is the other Odin's Eye palette from that new collection. This is the Stone and Rock. Look how gorgeous it is. I love swampy grungy greens and this is everything to me and these shimmers and these mattes. It's just all so yummy. I'm so excited. I'm again pretty certain I'm bringing this one and the Jewels and Gem on vacation with me along with my Planet Spirit palette with Odin's Eye. I just think that'd be a really fun trio to bring along and I just love this. So many shifty sparkly shades but make it grungified. I I love this. I love this so much. One of my favorites that Odin's Eye has ever done. I'm so impressed with it. And I knew immediately this was gonna be number one. I couldn't imagine something beating it this specific time around. And yeah, that is my ranking. I feel like I ran through that pretty matter-of-factly. I didn't really have things to ramble on and on about because I was just very certain in my decisions this time. I mean, it took me a little while to place some of those middle ones against each other, but once I figured it out, I was like, I'm good with this. I have my reasons, I have my logic. Let's go for it. I would love to hear your thoughts. Do you agree with my ranking? Does my ranking make sense? It makes sense to me at least, but it's my brain. <laughs> Do you have any of these palettes? Do you want any of these palettes? I would love to know your thoughts down below. If you made it to the end of this video, please leave your last 10 most recently used emojis. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel out a lot. And if you're not already, you can follow me on my other socials. You can join the Batty Bean fam. I am Batty Bean on everything, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And if you want, you can subscribe. If you want to see more of my videos, I'm posting most days here as well. And you can feel free to join my channel membership. The link to sign up will be down below. You'll get a cute little bat badge next to your name. You'll get access to exclusive little spooky emojis and you will get a members only get ready with me once a month. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. This was a tough one. This was a really tough one. Like these are all such nice palettes. How, how was I supposed to rank them? That's, that's so difficult. <laughs>